Hey everyone, I wanted to wait until both trailers dropped before doing a video on Solo A Star Wars Story. Instead of doing a side-by-side -side reaction or a breakdown, I thought I would just give you 5 things I loved and 5 things I hated in the Solo trailers. First let's give the trailer props where it deserves some, and then get into some of the hate. Immediately the first thing I loved was the shot of the Star Destroyer in the Storm and that new TIE Fighter variant. Star Wars has the unique opportunity of having almost any landscape, background, and visual possible because of the fact you can literally go anywhere in its galaxy. When you really look at Rogue One, for example, there are just some outstanding shots that you can even remember after you leave the theater. They stick with you. This Star Destroyer shot is something I will remember tomorrow about this trailer, and that's a positive for me. I really enjoyed the heist-like feel of this trailer. What I can gather is the Woody Harrelson crew is going to rob the train in the trailer as part of the heist at some point. I love that idea of a futuristic train with a villain of some kind who's trying to either do the same thing or thwart you. I like this in the Star Wars universe, it's something different, and I liked how it visually looked and felt tonally. I also dig that western feel and shot on the beach with Sol and his blaster. It's definitely a different tone from some of the other Star Wars films, but I feel like I can get on board with this train with that western slash heist approach for Solo. I like the fact that Chewie wasn't overdone in this trailer. Chewie has a lot of screen time in Star Wars, and if you're not going to donate screen time to Han Solo saving Chewie from Imperial imprisonment or whatever the new canon would write, then I am fine with Chewie already in league with Han at this point in the story. It meshed well with me, it looked like they fit. I think as a writer or director you could definitely overdo Chewie in a film like this, trying to do multiple origin stories at one time. So for me, it works so far, but this could change obviously with the film release. Lando. I loved how Lando looked and the vibe he gave from all the shots in the trailers. It hit me as, yes, yeah, so this, this could actually be Lando when he was younger. But I do have to reserve judgment because Glover didn't actually have any lines in the trailer. But this was the most promising to me. But if you you have to have that personality and swag to play Lando's character, and visually, I felt those emotions. But yet to be seen exactly until he talks. But I have hope. The Kessel Run. It definitely appears that Han will do the Kessel Run in this movie. And it looks pretty crazy by the looks of it. Even that crazy new TIE variant looks like it's going to be equipped with some new sensors to actually navigate through um, those storms. Anyways, got sidetracked. The visuals. Giving the audience a chance to visually see what the Kessel Run would actually look like and how much of a feat it was for Han Solo at the time to complete is an exciting thing to see on the big screen. Okay, so before I get into the hate, I just want to be straightforward with my audience. I love Star Wars with a passion and on this channel in my reviews, mostly on Star Wars Rebels and books, I try to be blatant and honest. Frankly, there are a lot of other YouTube channels that just love everything Star Wars produces. Like, everything is gold, no imperfections. BS, give me a break. Disney makes mistakes. George Lucas has definitely made mistakes. Battlefront 2. We learn from mistakes, and we need to wave the warning flag as an audience when we see them, so things don't repeat over and over and we won't see those same mistakes in future films. So here are my five things that I hated and disliked about these trailers in and Solo. First thing I didn't particularly enjoy was the music. It started kind of with a Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord vibe. I've been running scams on the streets since I was 10. Then it didn't really have that moment of critical Star Wars crescendo where your Star Wars fandom kind of goes off the charts and you get all those Star Wars feels inside. When it had the solo reveal with the logo, it started to have that moment, but then it kind of takes you a step backward as it switches back to different music and then that kind of cringy line at the end. I wasn't really feeling it. It kind of lost me. Go back and listen to some of the past uh, trailers from some of the films. And they do a much better job, even in their teasers. Wow. 
The Solo Logo. Man, what happened here? It looks like the budget ran out from reshoots and Ron Howard's salary or something. It looks like a pre-bought After Effects template. Okay, really it isn't that terrible, but why do we need that 3D blocky effect? And coloring just seems to be kind of cheap in the feel and tone of the movie. It, it seems a little bit out of place, at least for me. I, I, I noticed it, I know a lot of other people have noticed it, and it just kind of threw me off. Before anyone watches this trailer, most people in general know that Han Solo meets Chewie before New Hope. He wins the Falcon from Lando. I mean, they've heard of the Kessel Run. They know he's a smuggler, a scoundrel. All right, I am a lore guy, so I like to learn about anything new, mythology, origin. But so far, the trailer is pretty straightforward from what you already know. What I hated was the fact that I didn't feel like I'm going to learn anything new in this film that is critical to the solo character or lore. It really does worry me. If you're going to make a movie about Han Solo, you better deliver new, interesting aspects of his character and history. Alden Ehrenreich. First off, he's definitely a good actor from other work I've seen, but he's just not Han Solo from what they've given us so far. His voice, it, man, for those two hours, I'm just going to be hearing Harrison Ford, and it's going to bug me, no doubt. I, I honestly think the worst part of the trailer was when he was speaking. I know that I have to get over that initial shock that comes with a comparison to the great like Harrison Ford, but it's just so hard to do so quickly. So I just need to let the trailer breathe a little bit, and I just have to see how Aaron Reich plays Han for the duration of the movie. This really small, small, small sample size, I can't really properly judge, but hey, these are my first impressions, and I just miss Harrison Ford after watching this trailer. My last complaint is the fact that when I watched this trailer, I realized that you could just swap out Han Solo as the main character with just any other smuggler or new created character, and you would, wouldn't have to fit the solo narrative built into the story. I would have rather just seen a true high smuggler film with a bunch of bounty hunters, even that Star Wars 1313 feel, and just stay away from Han Solo. You could totally do it. You could have you know, 90% of the same elements in this film without Han Solo. Heck, just make it Lando a Star Wars story. Even that I'd be okay with. It just truly baffles me that Han Solo was the number two movie Disney chose to go with behind Rogue One for its standalone films. There's so much more to explore, and after watching the trailer, I asked myself, just why exactly are we here? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my honest opinion on these on these two trailers. I really hope it is good. Like, don't get me wrong, I really hope it is good, and I am praying Disney does not ruin Han Solo. Man, it's hard to get a good gauge on trailers these days. Good movies can have just awful trailers, and bad movies can have amazing trailers. So the jury is still out. But these were just five things I loved and five things I hated about Solo, A Star Wars Story. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Star Wars lore.